Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how we can create a PTR record in DNS on our Windows Server 2025. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server 2025. In our previous video, we have already installed the Active Directory and now it's time for the DNS. DNS is a very important part of your Active Directory because Active Directory is highly dependent on the DNS and you should make sure that DNS is working properly to run Active Directory smoothly. So let's have a look on our DNS. To open the DNS, I will just go to the tools and the DNS. This is my DC01, that is my server name. And if I expand it, you will see forward lookup zone, reverse lookup zone. You should see these two things like one is this msdcs.techiejack.local and techiejack.local. You may see here uh, your domain name. And if I expand it, see DC domain, GC, PDC, it should be there. If you are not getting these things, that means there is some problem with the DNS. If I simply right click here and try to launch the NS lookup, it's showing me that default server is unknown. So the IP address is correct, but default server is unknown. This should be not the case because if this is the case, you will face the issue. And if I simple type the NS lookup command here, it says the default server is localhost. Address is 127.0.0.1. We haven't configured that address, but still we are seeing that. One thing to note here is that after installing Active Directory, I did not make any changes here and this IP is allocated automatically for the DNS server. If we go to the network connection and see the properties, here you can see this is the DNS server. Make sure that after installing Active Directory domain service, when you reboot your computer, cross check this thing because it automatically assign this IP address. Let me delete this and we will put 192.168.2.180 this time because we want to follow our DNS. So the IP address of the domain controller, the first domain controller should be the same as the preferred DNS server. Let me click on OK. OK again. So the IP has been corrected. Still, if I go and run this command once again, still it shows that default server is unknown. The reason for this is we have a forward lookup zone here, but if we see the reverse lookup zone, there is nothing here. So what can be the cause for like, if we do not have a reverse lookup zone? So let's see here. If we do the NS lookup with the domain name, that is techiejack.local, here we have an address like this techiejack.local can be converted into the IP like 192.168.2.180. This is due to the forward lookup zone because if you see the forward lookup zone, the 180 IP is assigned to this techiejack.local. The IP address is this. So it is translating this from here. But the same query if I go for the IP address, let's see. 192.168.2.180 and if I hit enter, it says server is unknown. It cannot convert the IP to name. So in order to convert IP to the name, we need that reverse lookup zone. And let's try to configure the reverse lookup zone. To configure that, just go to the reverse lookup zone, right click and click on new zone, click on next. Keep the thing default as a primary zone. Click on next, IPv4. So we have to give the network ID that is 192.168.2 and click on next again. Allow only secure dynamic updates recommended by Active Directory. So keep that setting, click on next and finish. So now the reverse lookup zone has been created and we have to create a pointer record now. So we have a name server here. We have a start of authority by default, but now we have to create a pointer record. So to create the pointer record, just right click on this zone we have created and go to the new PTR. Here we have to choose the host name and host name that is techiejack.local. You can select this same as parent and click on OK. Also, if you want to add a, a different PTR record for the name as well, the computer name, you can see my DC01, you can click on this and click on OK. So the PTR record for mydc.techiejack.local and techiejack.local has been created. Let me refresh it from here and see the NS lookup again. If I launch the NS lookup now, 
Now you can see the default server is techiejack.local address is this. If you try to type the address 2.180, you can see it has converted this 180 to the two different name because this 180 is resolving to techiejack.local and my dc 01techiejackloc If I say techiejack.local, see it converted into the IP. So now you can see our IP to domain and domain to IP resolution is working perfectly fine. So now our DNS is configured. We have a perfectly working forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video.